एवरीवन माय नेम इज संधि भाटिया सिस्टम प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग एट राजकुमार गोयल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी गाजियाबाद सो इन आर सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स डीलिंग विद फोर ऑफ सब्जेक्ट माइक्रो मोटोरियम एडिट सिस्टम्स डिजाइन एम इन कोड के ई सी जीरो सिक्स वन वट वी हैव कवर्ड वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड यूनिट नंबर फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड एंड फ्यू लेक्चर्स बैक वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द यूनिट नंबर फोर यूनिट नंबर फोर इज ऑल अबाउट द इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स एंड प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैव कवर्ड मोस्ट ऑफ द पोर्शन ऑफ आई ओ टी वी हैव कवर्ड द आई ओ टी करेक्टरिस्टिक्स आई ओ टी एडवांटेज एप्लीकेशन ऑफ आई ओ टी वट द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ऑफ आई ओ टी आई ओ टी आर्किटेक्चर लेयर्स ऑफ आई ओ टी हाउ आई ओ टी वर्क डब्ल्यू एस एन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वट आर द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ सेंसर्स एंड ट्रांसड्यूसर्स कैन बी डिप्लॉयड इन आई ओ टी आई ओ टी हार्डवेयर आई ओ टी सेंसिंग डिवाइस आई ओ टी वायरलेस टेक्नोलॉजी वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स सो इन टूडे लेक्चर वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द टॉपिक हार्डवेयर प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर आई ओ टी सो अंडर विच वी विल डिस्कस द एनालॉग टू डिजिटल एंड डिजिटल टू एनालॉग कन्वर्जन टेक्निक्स so these are the table of contents that we will discuss in our today lecture so in our syllabus we have a topic describe analog to digital and digital to analog conversion techniques under this we will discuss about the overview of analog input and output what type of analog input and output we are talking about we will uh, first discuss the digital to analog converter after that we will see about the analog to uh, digital converter after that we will see the range of the Uh, our uh, uh, devices analog to digital digital to analog devices we are deploying we, after that we will see the quantization error what is the quantization error that is occurred in the analog to digital digital to analog converter in our uh, first few slides uh, few lectures of this subject we have discussed quantization error you can uh, see for more detail there Uh, we will, after that we will discuss the sampling frequency and after that we will discuss the various applications uh, applications in detail of iot so uh, the application of iot this is the last topic of our unit number 4 so first start with the analog to digital and digital to analog conversion techniques so first we will see the uh, overview of analog input and output so let us start more signals in the real world that is a more signal in the real world means in the environment actual we we do not uh, we have not convert any type of uh, signal the information original information that is provided uh, that is uh, has to be in the environment in the real world means in the environment like heat pressure etc all are in the analog signals they are they are in the analog form for example pressure or temperature in the environment they have in they are in the analog form so processors are digital devices but our computer cpu laptops they are uh, they can only sense the digital signals they are only talking about the digital signal they cannot sense uh, the analog signals so again if we are uh, for processing purpose we again need to convert that analog signals that is uh, present in the environment into the digital signals so to interface with analog signal these has to be converted into the digital signals and vice versa because uh, our computer can only understand the digital language but if we are uh, uh, further process uh, we again need to convert digital to into analog form okay so two types of uh, uh, converters are there analog to digital digital to analog both have to be used in our iot based systems so uh, first talking about the analog to digital uh, digital to analog converter as the name implies digital to analog converter convert the digital signal into the analog it convert digital data into the analog signal such as current voltage or electrical charge uh, analog signals current voltage or electrical charge digital signal in the form of 0 1001 it takes that data bits of data and convert it into the analog form that is a continuous in nature like this voltage or current with respect to time okay they are continuous in nature for example a deck digital to analog converter could be used to drive an earphone or speaker amplifier so that sound analog air pressure waves can be produced it can be deployed in a earphone or speaker after that we have a analog to digital converter adc it converts as the name implies it converts the analog signal into the digital one so analog signal means that it is continuous in nature it takes analog signal and convert into the form of digital signal that is is 0101010101 etc okay so it converts the amplitude of physical signal it converts the amplitude of physical signal like this amplitude we are talking about this one amplitude it converts the amplitude of signal 
like this I am um, writing again it converts the amplitude of signal like this into the discrete like this one this one ok in terms of same it keeps the same amplitude ok. So, an inverse operation of DAC that is the uh, ADC is an inverse operation of DAC. So, it involves signal sampling and quantization. So, in analog to digital converter there is both type of concept that concept like uh, is like uh, sampling and quantization ok. We will discuss in uh, this lecture. So, first one started with the digital to analog converter. So, as a name apply input of the it, uh, DAC is uh, digital and output is a analog. So, input is in the discrete finite precision number usually in binary because in digital to analog converter input is digital, digital means 0 1, 0 1 it is in the form of binary. Here you can see that here uh, it is a 8 bit DAC, 8 bit means it works on the 8 bit of data at a time, 8 bit means it takes 8 bit input data it in the form of binary bit 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 here it may be 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 etcetera. It takes analog uh, digital form digital input and convert into the analog voltage or current like this analog voltage of current ok. So, to conversion we need some reference voltage ok, we need some control signals to for processing. So, output is a continuously varying physical signals like continuously varying physical signal that is continuous in nature such as voltage or pressure. So, so this figure uh, explain the uh, function of anal digital to analog converter. After that uh, we have some calculations of for digital to analog converter. So, uh, the relationship between the DAC input and output we are talking about the input and output. So, the relationship between input and output in case of DAC is V naught uh, I am writing uh, this equation here D naught D divided by 2 key power n into V r ok. So, what is the meaning of V naught? V naught is the output voltage, V r is the uh, reference voltage and n is the num n number, number of bits in the word n may be from 0 to 1 or 3 or 4 d is the value of the input binary word ok. So, maximum output is here mentioned 2 key power n minus 1 upon 2 key power n into v r, but v r is never reached in this case since d max only have a maximum value of the input binary word is 2 n minus 1. For example, to generate a triangular wave if we want to generate a triangular wave like this what will happen, what will happen? Uh, let us take input is a 3 bit binary word that is I am erasing the contents here for. So, uh, in case of uh, let us take the example of a triangular wave we need to generate a triangular wave what will happen digital data is 3 bit binary word that is n is equals to 3 and we analog should be a uh, continuous varying signal. So, we are uh, if we put the value of n is 3. 2 key power 3 minus 1 upon 2 key power 3 and 2 key power 3 uh, 8 minus 1 7 upon 8. So, it vary from 0 to 7 upon 8 of V r. You are putting the reference voltage you are can get the actual voltage that is has to be converted. So, here is the values uh, various values we have a binary input according to the binary input you are provided n ok. So, here uh, n is 0 n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 10 this is the value of n. According to the value of n in the previous example we have take the n is equal to 3. For 3 we have the value of this one. So, from calculation we can see that uh, for various values of n for various values of n we have the various types of output voltage. So, output voltage uh, can be observed is a triangular wave according to the input we have the output and output is in the form of a triangular wave. For example, you are taking value here the output is 2 divided by 2 key power 3 into V r this is the output voltage in the 
next is the analog to digital converter is the reverse it has a reverse operation of DAC digital to analog converter here input is continuously varying physical signal here you can see in this diagram that input to the ADC here it is a 8 bit DAC ADC 8 bit means uh, it has a 8 bit in uh, binary value okay so input to the ADC is analog signals continuously varying analog signals that need to be multiplexing here okay and this 8 bit adc will convert this analog signals this analog signals into digital signals so here conversion is from analog to digital okay so input is physical signal here uh, continuous vary signal and output is a discrete number this is the output here you can see that direction is here from this to this so, picture gives an example of 8 bit ADC. So, uh, as in case of DIAC, we need some reference voltage, we need control signals, okay, and we need multiplexer. Why we need multiplexer? To multiplex which type of input signal to the ADC, all will be happen through the multiplexer, okay. Multiplex will, uh, will uh, further uh, multiplex with the ADC, okay. So, what should be the ADC range? As we have uh, discussed some mathematical. Uh, equations of a DIAC, we will see here the mathematical equations of a ADC. So, ADC have maximum minimum permission by input values. For example, if this is a triangular wave, it has some maximum and a minimum value. This is max and this is the minimum. Same in case of, <coughs> same in case of uh, sinusoidal wave, there is some maximum possible value. This is the max, this is the min, minimum permissive and input value which determine the range of the ADC, okay. So, we can say that the input range of a ADC is linked to the reference voltage. For example, the value of the digital output can be represented at digital output that is uh, the output we are taking from the ADC has a value of D is equals to V i divided by V r into 10 to Q power n, where V i is the input voltage, V r is the reference voltage and D is the output that is has been converted from the analog to digital. So, and n is the number of binary bits, okay. So, number of binary bits and may be vary from 0 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay. n is the number of binary bit. So, now the question arises what is the quantization error that has to be present in ADC. So, quantization error is the noise introduced by quantization in an ideal ADC. So, basically quantization error is a basically a noise into uh, noise or disturbance in the signal that has to be happened by quantization in an ideal ADC. So, what will happen? Uh, sometimes there is happen that there is some distortion in the signal, distortion in the actual signal that has to be sensed. For example, this is V, this is I, this is T, okay. So, we need to rounding that error in between the actual analog signals and the distilled value. Because through rounding error, we can remove our disturbance in the signal. Here in this picture, you can see that this is the input voltage, okay. Input voltage uh, uh, that is in the form of, uh, because in ADC analog to digital, uh, analog is the uh, our input signal and digital is our output signal. Output is in here and input is here, okay. So, uh, we have to remove the quantization error. So, digital can take form of 0, 1, 2, 3, we, we are talking about the 8 bit uh, value and n is equals to 3. So, uh, 3, 4, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, because 8, 4, 2, 1. So, for 7, we have 1, 1, 1, remove 8, to, okay, and for 6, 1, 1, 0, okay. And uh, this is the actual input we are talking about. This is the actual input, okay. This is the actual input, and this is the just a second, I am erasing the things here, okay. So, this is the quantization error here, quantization error. This is the actual input. So, there may be sometime happen that there is some distortion like this. So, we need to round off that value for two signals, two binary value. We, we need to round off to uh, reduce that quantization error. For example, in case of input of 4 upon 8 VR, 
for uh, we have uh, uh, same we we can observe this quantization error it has two values in case of uh, uh, digital output so we need to round off that signals so we are uh, we are rounding of these signals then we can observe this is a linear equation linear uh, waveform okay so we need have to be converted uh, into the uh, we uh, we have to reduce the quantization error otherwise we cannot reproduced produced origin, uh, original signal it it will may have some noise okay we have to, we need to some use filter here okay so after that there is a concept of adc sampling frequency so adc sampling frequency in it is the sampling rate refers to the rate of collecting new values so sampling rate means that we are collecting the samples and uh, uh, rate at which we are collecting new values by the sensor it is called a sampling rate the rate at which we are get, we are collecting the uh, samples so it should be greater than the uh, highest frequency we will see uh, uh, further so analog signal is continuous time we know that and digital signal is discrete we know that the sampling rate has to be high enough to reproduce the original signals so in our adc system the sampling rate should be very much higher than the uh, uh, reprodu to reproduce the original signal it has to be very much high so according to the shannon nyquist sampling theorem in our digital communication we have uh, you can uh, you know already know that there is a shannon nyquist sampling theorem according to this the sampling frequency the sampling frequency must be at least double that of the highest frequency that is uh, twice of the highest frequency uh, that is fm so fs is very much should be greater than uh, that is the maximum frequency of the incoming signal if this happen then there is a uh, uh, we can say that we can produce uh, accurate information okay so for example the accepted standard range of audible frequency in the range of 20 to 20000 hertz approximately but therefore standard audio cd are sampled and played at 44.1 kilohertz how much very much larger so 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 the sampling rate is should be high uh, as compared to the original signal it should be very much higher if it not higher you can not reproduce the actual signal okay so reduce sampling frequency will result in signal analyzing effect if you are you reduce the sampling frequency if fs is smaller than 2 fm then there is a analyzing effect we cannot reproduce the actual signal analyzing effect occurs due to the reduction in the sampling frequency okay as you have seen uh, in the digital communication so here you can observe the analyzing effect here in this diagram there is a voltage or current varying signal with respect to the time here you see that this is a signal and we if the sampling frequency is less than the original frequency then there is a analyzing effect here see here you can see that there is the analyzing effect due to the analyzing there the original uh, signal cannot be reproduced there is the, maybe the uh, disturbance in the noise in the original signal okay so uh, let us discuss the various or last topic let us discuss the various applications of iot uh, various application i think uh, according to me uh, there is no any application in which iot cannot be deployed what the in iot uh, all the information is connected uh, has to be serving through the internet so there are various applications of iot building and home automation in building smart buildings home automation for example automation means home automation smart lighting control of the fridge control of the electrical other appliances control of the microwave oven all has to be happen at uh, control to, uh, at a remote location through the concept of iot okay we have a manufacturing plant uh, you can deploy a large number of robots all are connected through the iot you can uh, uh, increase the production manufacturing so all are uh, using iot devices medical and healthcare system you can use iot based uh, devices uh, to uh, in healthcare sector we can use in media uh, smart media we can use iot based system in environmental monitoring you can use uh, iot based system in infra infrastructure management you can use iot based system in infrastructure management 
smart buildings, smart cities, all are in, uh, employing infrastructure, smart infrastructure. In energy management, you can use a IoT based system to manage the energy, how amount of energy you are supplying, how much power supply it has to be in energy management, in healthcare sector, in, uh, in various organizations they are using the IoT based system. In smart transportation, transportation uh, how many number of vehicles cross from particular uh, slide, uh, we need, do not need to calculate. We have, can use the concept of IoT uh, in a smart transportation to know that how much vehicles cross from the particular uh, place and uh, uh, how much uh, uh, manpower we need to deploy, all are using the uh, smart transportation, all under the category of the smart transportation. So, uh, better quality of life for elderly people, uh, this is related with the healthcare. So, I am taking one example, if at your home, if there is any elder uh, people, el your grandfather, and uh, uh, you, if you are at office, you have to be take care of about. So, at remote location at your office, through the concept of IoT, you can set an alarm, okay. And if there is a system that, that the pills can automatically, medic, um, medicines can automatically uh, give to the elder people. You can deploy any wrist watch, wrist, uh, uh, you can uh, deploy any system in the uh, nearby the elderly people. So, that if there is any chance of heart attack, anything happen, uh, you can monitor from the remote location and uh, through IoT uh, medicines can be provided to that particular person. So, through uh, through IoT, the lifestyle can be improved, okay, and many more. There are many applications of IoT. Let us discuss, discuss uh, some common applications because we cannot explain the large number of applications in uh, one lecture. We have only discussed the uh, common applications. So, two diverse applications. So, home consumer, light, smart light, security, pet feeding, irrigation controller, smoke alarm, refrigerator, smart refrigerator, smart washer dryer, info uh, entertainment, energy monitoring, stove, smart stove, all are uh, using the IoT devices. At home consumer to transport mobility, traffic routing, telematic, package monitoring, smart parking, insurance adjustment, supply chain, sh shipping, public transport, airlines, trains, all can deploy transport mobility in a health body, patient con uh, care monitoring, elderly monitoring, remote diagnostic equipment monitoring, hospital hygiene, bio variables, food sensor, all can use uh, IoT. So, we can use healthcare, okay. Building infrastructure, smart buildings, we can use in uh, HVAC, heating, ventilation and air conditioning, security, lightning, electrical, transit, emergency alerts, structural integrity, occupancy, energy credits. In smart cities, smart industry, uh, maintenance, electrical distribution, surveillance, signage, utility, smart grid, emergency services, waste management, all uh, we can use many applications, there are diverse applications we can use IoT. Uh, so, here you can see that uh, uh, the concept of smart parking. So, in smart parking, here you can observe that in there uh, more vehicles can be parked in very small area, there is a very less distance between the devices you can observe here. So, through the IoT, uh, parking space can be effectively utilized. In less space, we can uh, park more vehicles through the concept of IoT. At a remote location, you can uh, ob observe uh, you, through inform, uh, IoT, you can get the information to your mobile phone that if any uh, occupancy is there in the parking. You, are, you can uh, run your vehicle according to that. If there is occupancy through IO smart parking, you can uh, in a minimum space, you can parking your vehicle, all, all possible through uh, smart IoT. So, create USD 41 billion by providing visibility into the availability of parking spaces across the city. So, residents can identify and reserve the closest available space, traffic wardens can identify non compliant uses and municipalities can also introduce demand based pricing. So, this is the smart parking concept, okay. After that applications of IoT, efficient waste management, waste management in a smart city can be supported by the sensing as a service. So, here you can see that there is a smart city, in smart city we have a smart garbage, all are using the sensors, okay. So, if there is a 
empty if this garbage can is empty there is a signal can be received by the garbage truck driver if there is a uh, some uh, garbage here if this is full the signal will go to the gar uh, garbage truck driver municipal truck so that they will go to the that particular dustbin okay so these garbage cans deploy the active sensors okay through sensors they are providing the information so in a efficient waste uh, uh, waste management in a cities garbage are connected to the cloud and through cloud they are uh, the garbage truck driver collect the information and all other things are can be connected like city council recycling plants waste manufacturing plant health and safety okay so this is the smart dust means smart waste management in a city so even in the uh, sensors even in the cow can be installed in a cow you can uh, integrate sensors to monitoring the health of the cow so in the world of iot even the cows will be collected will be connected and monitors from the record location sensors are implanted in the ears of cattle this allow farmers to monitor the cows health and track their movements so what will happen sensors are implemented uh, in the uh, head of the ears of the cow through which uh, the farmer uh, and a person can uh, get the data uh, get the health status about the cow ensuring a healthy and more plentiful supply of milk so that uh, milk production can be increased so on average each cow generates about 200 million of uh, mb of information per year so you can deploy there are various applications of iot you can use anywhere in uh, so shopping smart malls you can use here shopping in the markets uh, when entering the doors scanners will identify the tax uh, when paying for the goods the microchip of the card will communicate with the checkout when moving the goods the reader will tell the staff put a new one so all are deploying here you can see you can use for shopping you can use for billing you can used for uh, 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 identify the objects objects will uh, uh, tell yourself that they are uh, you need service so all are using the iot concept so thank you everyone for your patience i hope you have enjoyed my lecture so uh, thanks all